Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're going to do a demonstration and a comparison between the Autel Maxicom MK808 and the brand new iCarsoft CR Max tool. So we're going to go through the differences between the two tools and at the end of the video, I'll tell you which one of these two tools I would personally choose if it was my choice putting my money down on one of these kits. Um, so first of all, where to buy these kits from, I'm going to put links in the description below this video because um, there are fakes, there are clones on the market and unfortunately they can do damage to your vehicle. So um, what you need to be making sure is that you definitely go for one of the, uh, the genuine and official products and I'm going to put links to where you can pick up the genuine and official products in the description. So uh, please only go through the links if you are interested in getting a, a genuine product. Um, prices of these tools, um, well as I say, you can see them both, they both look sort of fairly similar, in fact. Um, they are kind of designed to do the same thing, uh, and to an extent they do, but there are a few differences. So, um, price-wise, this tool is currently on the market for £325. This tool is about £469, um, so it's probably, I don't know, about $550-ish or something like that. This one could be just over $400 or $450, something like that. Um, I'd have to do an exact conversion, but yeah, £325, £469. Now, bear in mind, these prices do always change. They do fluctuate and come up and down, so just bear that in mind if you're looking at the, the link now and you see a different price to what I've just quoted you there. Um, who are they aimed at? I, I would definitely say that they could both be aimed at a, a small garage or a small workshop um, or anybody who has a lot of cars to look after. So that also includes home DIYers, um, anybody who is just an enthusiast and maybe has a few cars that they want to sort of look after and maintain the best they can without the need to have to take it to a garage or a workshop all of the time. Um, so it can be, it can, it can suit both sort of uh, so, sort of needs workshops, home DIYers, enthusiasts, or anyone like a fleet manager who has a, a lot of vehicles to look after. So they're both hard case, they're both hard wearing units, they are designed to be used in a workshop environment so uh, I think the manufacturers understand that they will be sort of flung around a bit uh, and providing you don't drop them on the screen and nothing sharp hits them on the screen, a drop would be okay on these tools because they, they're, they're quite rugged and they will just bounce off. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going throwing it around but you know if you were to drop it it would be fine. Uh, when it comes to the manufacturer coverage for these tools, let's have a look at the iCarsoft first of all. So we we'll click on to Diagnostics, and this gives us a long list of all the manufacturers. Uh, we can do the same on the Autel kit. Um, it just displays them in different ways. So we've got uh, Abarth, Acura, well, in fact what I'll do is you can just have a look at this one first of all, and see if your vehicle is covered, and I'll just go through it slowly. But surely, and it'll give you an idea of all of the manufacturers that are covered. Okay, and then when it comes to the Autel Maxicom MK808 kit, um, you see the green arrows, that just indicates that we need to do a quick update on these ones. I'll come to that in a moment. Um, but we've got this page here. And page two, and page three, page four, whoops, it's page four, and then that's page five. So those are the manufacturer coverages. Um, a few differences between the two, but it all really depends on what manufacturers you are looking to diagnose. Um, ultimately though, you know, the main cars that you see on the roads, the both tools are going to cover both of them. Um, when it comes to the system coverage, both of these tools are classed as uh, all system scan tools, so they will scan every single system, but they do display them in different ways, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If we look at the Autel tool, and we go to, uh, we go to BMW, which I guess is going to be near the start, the reason I'm choosing BMW is because that's what we're in right now. In, in, incidentally, this tool is not hooked up to the diagnostic port of the vehicle. This tool is. Um, I couldn't couldn't plug them both into the diagnostic tool, uh, the diagnostic port. So I'm going to manually select the vehicle. It's a three series. It's an F31. Uh, diagnostic. 
diagnosis control unit. So what this is going to do is, this is going to show us a list of all systems that it could potentially diagnose. Okay, so it's got lots of different systems that it could potentially diagnose. It's going to show you things that may not even be installed into the vehicle, okay? Well, this, this one here is going to simply show you the systems which are installed into the vehicle and therefore that is the only thing it'll show you. So it's going to initialize what it might do. Uh, it's doing a quick update. Hopefully this won't take too long. Oh, it's restarting. Anyway, okay, while that's restarting, I'm going to tell you what it does, and I'll show you when it comes back on. But this will just show you a list of the... It does a connection to the vehicle, it finds out which systems are installed, and it simply shows you a list of the vehicles which are installed into the vehicle. You can go VIN identity. It looks like it's going to do it for us now. <clears throat> there we go. So it's found the vehicle. Uh, there we go. So these are the systems which are installed to the vehicle. And it's going to allow us to do service uh, service things as well. All right, so it just displays things in a different way, but both ways are really easy to go through. Um, when it comes to wireless on whether the wireless or not you for both of these tools you do need to use a wire going from the top of the tool into the diagnostic port there is a Bluetooth version of this but it does cost about hundred pounds or hundred hundred dollars more uh, but I would say I would always go for a wired connection because I just feel that you're always going to get a solid connection there and I always prefer a wired connection so when it comes to um, special functions on these tools that is another thing which is uh, really good about these tools. So both the service functions, okay, um, they generally have the similar functions. So if we look at this one here, first of all, um, for all of the things you see here, it's generally going to do like calibrations, resets, um, a little bit of coding on whatever system it is so if suspension for example it covers on both it'll do calibrations it'll uh, do full resets um, you go to things like airbag fully UC ECU resets um, same with the headlamps we go up on this one and it shows a few more so ultimately they are quite similar transmission adaptions transmission relearn so TPMS etc so it does cover a lot of special functions and that is why these tools generally cost a bit more than your standard tools because these just do have a lot of uh, great functionality uh, they both do live data they both do graphing data which is really really good um, when it comes to updates and uh, update costs again this is this is another fantastic feature um, this tool here gives you free updates for life Okay, you'll always get free updates on this tool. This tool here gives you updates for the first year. After the first year, you are required to pay, I think it's about £130. So bear that in mind when you do come to purchasing one of these tools. Uh, and you know, so far, this tool does everything that this does to an extent, give or take a few manufacturers. However, you pay less for the tool up front, you get free updates for life. So you know, this uh, everything seems to be swinging in the favor of this one so far. Um, so help and support for both of these tools is all done on the tablet. So you get support there, you get support there. Whoops, I've just accidentally clicked under that. Um, they're both double up as a tablet as well. So, you know, you get remote desk, you get a lot of um, help and support for these tools as well. Um, they both have internal batteries as well so they do need charge but they do also charge when they are connected to the vehicle so they draw charge from the the battery but it doesn't drain the battery or anything like that um, and connection as i say needs to go from a cable from the top into the diagnostic port of the vehicle they both have print facility they can generate reports pdf reports which can be printed and then can be shown to a customer if need be so that's a very good option they both have seven inch screens which are really really good or oh, this one might be a six inch screen actually that one might that one looks a bit bigger um, either way you know both screens have a really good um, viewpoint you can it's easy to pick everything up uh, they both have multi languages as well I think there's about 15 different languages uh, I believe let's have a look language 
Yeah, so there's lots of languages and that is the case for both of these tools. Um, which of these tools would I recommend and which of these tools would I buy if it was my money? In all honesty, uh, I would go for the CR Max simply because it costs less, it does pretty much the same and you're going to get updates free for life. Um, one of the things with this tool is that we've got updates, it's telling us now that there are updates to be done but we are actually out of our uh, service contract or the, the update contract. Uh, the first year has expired now so we would have to pay £130 um, a, a again to go and get the, uh, another year's worth of updates which um, I don't know if we're going to do or not but it's quite annoying but that's the way Autel do this and I think iCarsoft have seized upon this and thought to themselves well you know it's gonna be a massive selling point for us if we can just give people free updates for life so that's what they've done and for that reason I think it's gonna uh, sway a lot of people to, to choose this kit um, over this one but um, it's, it's obviously up to you it all depends on your budget um, it all depends on your specific needs requirements but I would see no reason to go for this one if you can do exactly the same with this tool here um, yeah, remember the links are in the description below if you're looking to get a genuine and official product. Um, ultimately, you can send your vehicle information to these guys here and they will check to see if any of these the functions uh, or services offered by these tools will be suitable for your vehicle or not. Uh, it's Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com. Remember, links in the description to the genuine tools. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, please, put, um, please give the video a like and uh, we'll see you on the next video.